my god. Okay, so. Alright, so, like, I'm bisexual, okay? And I've had this conversation with my parents, like, a bajillion times. And, like, I know the freaking definition. I know what it means. I, I, trust me, like, I know. I get it. And I'm like, yeah. When I think about it, I'm like, oh, well, yeah, when I was this age, when I was like eight, I remember this happened in, in my brain, and this is what I felt. And, you know, I didn't understand that. I didn't get it. It didn't make sense. And then when I got to eighth grade, you know, and somebody's like, oh, I'm bisexual. I'm like, huh? What's that? Oh, you like girls and guys. And I was like, oh. And then, like, I researched it, and it, I'm like, oh, that's me. You know, it made freaking sense. And I'm like, oh, okay. So, there's a, there's a name for this, and I, uh, yeah, whatever. And, I mean, it's like, I'm bisexual, and my mom's all like, no, you're not, no, you're not, you don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, I know what I'm freaking talking about. Look at the girl and go, geez, she's got some nice boobs, you know? You know, and then you end up thinking about doing stuff to them. And it's, it, like, part of it repulses me. Because it's like, I shouldn't be like this. You know what I mean? It's like, I love God. And, you know, I'd like... It's like, it's like, okay, like, I'm something wrong, you know? And it's like, like, I've accepted it, you know, for like two years. I had a really hard time dealing with it because, like, I was like, God, I love you so much, you know? Like, uh, there were days that it was like, you, you know, this is how I feel that. I would just, I'd be okay if I died right now because I'd get to go be with God and I wanted to be with God. And, you know, like, I know that I have purpose, but it's like, I love you so much and I just want to be with you. And, like, like, that's how much I loved God. And, you know, when I realized that there was just like, something I guess wrong with me is how I felt like I felt so bad because I'm like oh no you know and like everybody's like oh that's an abomination and everything and you're gonna go to hell and you know like I'm like but I've always been like this you know and everybody says well God makes us in his image and like how he wants us to be and stuff and it's like okay but in the bible it says that this is wrong and this is what I want to do over here over here this is what I want to do you know because that's who I am but over here I know that it's wrong and like that I can't do that and I struggle with it because I'm like like the thoughts and the temptations knowing it was wrong was like killing me and I asked, and I like asked God every single day, you know, like, help me, change me. I don't want to be like this. I don't want to go to hell. I don't want you to hate me. <laughs> and, and, I mean, like, like, I just, like, I mean, I'm still not really different. I mean, I was saved last year. And, I mean, I love God so much. But, I mean, for two years, I was like, I just finally came to the, the conclusion and decision that I was like, okay, well, you know, I'm something, and I'm giving God my all here. I'm like, I, I want you to just... Take me, change me, I don't want to be like this. And nothing's happening, you know? I mean, like, I'm still the same. 
I'm still by and like God you're doing nothing about it and like help me and nothing happened so I was just like okay well if God can't accept me for who I am and I can then I'm gonna be who I am and screw him cause then I don't need him and um so like I cut God out of my life for two years and then you know like I just like I hated him because it's like you made me something that you disapprove of and when I gave you my all and I really wanted you to change me so I could be who you wanted me to be you didn't you didn't do anything like I just I hated him so much and I mean it's like it sucked because I went through all that and everything and like yeah people made fun of me but I accepted myself and that's what mattered to me and it's like if God can't accept me that I don't need him and I mean it's just like crazy and then last year when I was saved and stuff you know I was like okay well I'm wrong and I like I really I'm working with God right now to change me and I'm just like God I mean this time you really have to change me because my gosh I'm like I'm once again I'm giving my all to you and I I need you to help me because I like it's like okay yeah this is who I am but don't give me all this temptation because I can't really handle it and I don't have the strength to pray that much I mean, Satan's pretty damn strong, too. And, um, so, I mean, like, it's like, what is this? Like, he's letting me, like, letting me stay this way, so that way I'll, I'll always ask him to believe me in the temptation, or what? I mean, I think that's pretty sick if that's what it is, you know, it's like, God, you're messed up in the head, and, but, I mean, like, I've gotten better, but, I'm like, what is this, am I supposed to be this way, or what, or no? So, yeah, but my, my mom, she doesn't leave me in, Sean D said that, uh, that, like, wants to talk to me tonight after youth group, and my mom saw what I posted on, a, on his video thing, and she's like, okay, well, you know, just make sure you let him know that you don't dream about this and think about this and you know fantasize about all this stuff and I'm and it's like mom you obviously don't know me yes I do you know I mean that's why like I get so I like beat myself up about it I mean like if I didn't and yeah that's what you think about and that's what you do when you are that way it's like, yeah, huh, I am this way, this is me, you know, and yes, I do think about that stuff, but I always have to pray and say, God, you know, make it go away, because I don't want to think about that, but she always tells me that that's not who I am, and what, just like, what takes me off is that, You know, it's like, I know who I am, and I accepted who I am, but her, she just, like, she lies to me and says, that's not who you are, that's not how you are, you don't think like that, it's like, do you have my brain? No. Are you me? No. You're wrong. 
and she just she doesn't listen and that ticks me off so I mean the, the, yeah that's there's no struggle with that but um I'm not pro gay marriage because I'm bisexual because I know it's wrong um to you know like same sex marriage and stuff but I mean I just want to clarify that really it's I, I'm, I'm not I'm not pro gay marriage because of my own sexuality it, that has nothing to do with it it's about equality and teaching every individually treating every individual equally that's what that's about but yeah um there's my struggles <laughs> I guess um so anyway um Thanks. Thanks, Sarah. Bye.